In the previous two episodes of how to build a model airport, we had a wooden plate, painted it and created markings on it to make it look like a real model airport. If you haven't seen those episodes, be sure to check them out before watching this video. Now let's start with episode 3, which is making the terminal. And we're going to fix some mistakes that we have made in the previous two episodes. To build the terminal, I am going to use my 3D printer. I have done this before and I found this to be a very convenient way to easily make a very highly detailed terminal. On the bottom right of the screen you can see an area that is going to be dedicated to the terminal. So I hopped onto Autodesk Fusion 360. This is an online software which you can use to create 3D models and it's free. It takes some time to learn but once you have the hang of it, it's a very easy way to create almost anything you have in mind. So here I'm creating the base of the terminal. This is the bird's eye view and I have measured out how much space we have on the wooden plank. And I am now putting that into Fusion 360 to get an idea of how much space I have to play with. Here we have an area on which we can build. And I'm just going to start doing something that came out up on my mind because I don't have anything planned. The only criteria I have is that the terminal will contain windows, a bus stop and I really like those curved modern shapes. So with that in the back of my mind, I just started doing anything that came up on in me. And after drawing a few lines here and there, I ended up with something quite extraordinary. Here you can see me adding the final touch in the form of a few windows. And after those were added, the terminal was done. At least on my computer. Now it's time to get it into something in real life. But before we continue, I would like to show you what I have designed. So here is the terminal. As you can see it consists of three layers. The most bottom layer is space for buses and ground service equipment. Above that is a layer which will act as the main lobby of the terminal having all the arrival and departures. And the most upper layer is dedicated to all lounges and maybe also an aircraft spotting deck. On the roof of the terminal I have made an air traffic control tower. I have made the top of the control tower look something like Amsterdam Airport Schiphol and the bottom I wanted to have the curved shapes just like on the rest of the terminal. To print the terminal we need to slice it up in a few different pieces because the printer is only capable of printing 20 by 20 centimeters and the terminal is bigger than that. So I sliced the terminal up into 5 parts. The big building on the bottom is sliced up in 3 parts. And I sliced the ATC tower up in the tower top and the base of it. The next step in the terminal building process is to make it actually a 3D print. And therefore we need to slice all the pieces we have in the Ultimaker Cura Slicer. Slicer software translates the design you have made in Fusion 360 into something your 3D printer can actually understand and print. This is the most right part of the terminal and I am going to position it on the printer bed in such a way that gravity influences the printing process the least. So here I put it flat on its back and when I then slice this it's going to give me an idea how the print is actually going to look, how, much, how long it's going to take and how much material it's going to use up. So this particular part is going to take about 7 hours to print and it's going to use 16 meters of filament. For a part of this size that's actually quite well. The light blue you see that's the support which is going to keep the windows floating in the air and we're going to remove the support after the print is finished. I hope my explanation was kind of clear and now once we have sliced all the parts we can put it on the SD card and start actually printing the pieces. Here I am on my Ender 3 V2 printer. This printer costs 214 euros and a roll of filament is about 25 euros. If you have the money I will definitely recommend to buy a 3D printer. It gives you so many more options when designing things for your model airport but also for daily usage gadgets it's very very handy. So I've just set the nozzle temp to 205 degrees and the bed temperature to 55 degrees and now we start printing. In terms of printing time the slicer gives you an estimate of how long it's going to take for your printer to 3D print a piece and I think it's going to take about 45 hours to print everything. And if you're wondering why it takes so long this is non sped up footage of the printer printing the lower piece of the air traffic control tower. 
But after an hour of printing that is done, so we can take it off the printer bed. And here we have the next piece also done. This is the left part of the terminal also finished and the terminal is really starting to take shape now. These are the parts I've already printed and it already looks good, but we set the printer to work once again. And then 11 hours later that part is also finished, which means we have all the parts printed and ready to be fitted together. Here are three big parts that the main terminal consists of and we're gonna glue it together using second glue. The benefit of second glue is that it dries very very quickly and the connection between the two pieces is also great. But I actually ran out of second glue so I went with this Revel glue and this should work very good on plastic. So I applied it to the side of the terminal and I stuck the both pieces together but it simply didn't stick for some reason. Luckily I had another type of modeling glue and that worked okay so I used that. So here is the terminal glued together, at least the three big pieces, and this looks incredible already. But we're definitely not yet done because we need to add the control tower too. But before we do that, I want to color the roof of the control tower in a silver metal color. So I masked out the edges of the control tower with masking tape. And then I prepared my airbrush, which, which we are going to paint the roof of the terminal and we're going to use this modeling paint XF16 flat aluminium color. So here I prepared the paint and I don't have any footage from the painting process. But here on the bottom of the screen you can see the final result which I think looks great. Now with red Uniposca paint pen I color the antenna red. And now doesn't that look amazing? But we're not done yet because I want to add windows to the edges of the ATC tower. For that I'm going to use my black Uniposca paint pen. Because I'm working on a curved surface it's really hard to apply masking tape and do this with the airbrush. So I did it with my drawing skills and it looks okay, it isn't perfect, but I'm very happy with the end result. Now the top of the air traffic control tower is finished and we can glue it to the base of it. For that I'm going to use the modeling glue that I was talking about earlier. And it was quite difficult to position the base exactly at the center, but I did a quite good job. And here is what the control tower looks like. Now we can glue the control tower to the top of the terminal and then here is the end result of what the terminal looks like. After almost 5 hours of designing, 50 hours of printing and 3 hours of assembling, this is how my 3D printed terminal for the model airport looks. Let me know in the comments what you think about the terminal. And it is not even done because I want to add light behind the windows just like on my main airport which looks like this. But that is something for the next episode. What we are going to do now is fix some tiny mistakes we have made in the previous episodes. Like this white line drawn too far and these tiny spots of paint that came off during the creation of the concrete tiles. To do that I am going to use the paint that we used in the previous episodes and I'm going to use these very cheap paint brushes from Amazon. Because we are painting a very tiny surface only a lick of paint from the top of the can is already enough. And as I already said a few times earlier, really take your time for this. Just like every step you are taking when building a model airport, take your time and don't hurry it because the result will only look worse. All my footage is sped up, but the painting process on its own cost me over 15 minutes. But that is it then for today. In this episode we designed, 3D printed and assembled this terminal, which I think looks incredible. And we're gonna make it even look better in the next episode. Furthermore we just finished some tiny mistakes. Like here I had some white paint which I fixed. And here as well some grey paint. So I want to thank you guys a lot for watching till the end of this video. I would really appreciate it if you consider to like and subscribe. If you have any ideas or suggestions please let me know in the comments. Because I'm really interested to hear what ideas you have for the airport. I hope to see you guys soon. In the next episode where we're going to add a lot more details and i want to thank you guys for watching